Bob Peterson is a professor of entomology since 2002 here at MSU and president-elect of the Entomological Society of America. His research program at MSU primarily is focused on agricultural and biological risk assessment surrounding pest insects. He's an accomplished insect photographer curating the website Insects of the Greater, Greater Yellow, Yellowstone Ecosystem, so check it out. It's pretty awesome. He's going to give us a few tips on navigating science in the post-fact world. Uh -huh. Whoa, that doesn't sound good. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Adrian, and all the students who helped with this. It's amazing that this is a student-led activity, and it's amazingly successful if you look out and look to your right and look to your left. So thank you all for coming today. Well, we're here today to celebrate and advocate for science. But what is science? You know, many people think science is uh, a collection of facts, but science, of course, is much, much more, as some of the, uh, our, our distinguished previous uh, speakers just mentioned. Science is a rigorous process for understanding our natural world, and it's been an extraordinary success story in how we know what we know about our world. Science is really the best way we have of knowing about reality. I mean, just let that sink in. That's pretty amazing. I'm reminded, I just saw before coming here a, 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 a message on social media from Dr. Michael Shermer, and he said, science should be a verb, yeah. right? Not just a noun, we science. It's an activity. It's not just a repository for a collection of facts. And I think that's really, really important that we, we recognize that, embrace that, and celebrate that. If I can um, paraphrase the, the late, great Dr. Carl Sagan, uh, he said, science is our best tool for revealing deep truths and winnowing out deep nonsense. <laughs> so evidence and the open evaluation of evidence, that's really key here, the open, shared evaluation of evidence is crucial for science and for deriving objective truth. But um, we are now experiencing a reality in which basic facts, evidence, and the scientific method are being largely disregarded in favor of dogmatic worldviews and biases that are not supported by objective evidence of any kind. Yeah. Therefore, we're here today. That's why we're here today, right? Is to push back on that. So, I march today to celebrate science's role in saving lives and protecting public health, creating jobs, empowering economic growth, yes. supporting agriculture in Montana and the rest of the US and indeed the world, protecting the environment, Encouraging the free exchange of facts, evidence, and knowledge. Educating all about the value and benefit of critical thinking. Yes. And I stand here today to celebrate science, science's role in supporting evidence-based democratic decisions. In closing, science is a force for good. Yes. And that is why I'm here today. Thank you. Thank you.